Hey guys, it's uh, Blood Super X. And before I start this video, I'm just I'd like to state I'm not trying to use any YouTubers' names to get views or anything. I just uh, I'm gonna make I'm making a rant because it's something I really like to talk about and also kind of stuffed up, so I'm gonna sound a bit weird. Um, so essentially, I'd like to talk about a YouTuber who I watch a lot, like a lot. Um, and I've been watching for a while, the name is, uh, Leafy, probably a lot of people, a lot of you guys, anyone who would see this video is probably, probably know about him, Leafy is here, is a YouTuber who has gone through different stages of his YouTube career, parts where he made stories, and he made a whole series on his, like, experience with drugs, and shit, um, and now he pretty much does just pretty much, um, what's the word, roast videos, where he'll watch a person, right, and he'll, and the first time he makes a video on them, he knows pretty much nothing about them, he's being sent this video by his viewers, and he'll take this video and he'll roast the person, and there have been several occasions in the past where he had no information he did not know about the person. Like, there have been times where the person was handicapped or had autism, and he didn't know. And he got a bunch of shit for it. And people would say, oh, you should have done your research. The thing is, most YouTubers who do roast videos or even just, like, react videos, they haven't seen the person's videos yet. They don't know. And you're not really going to sit there and do your research on the person, you're just going to take, sit there and make the video and watch the video that you were sent. And you're going to make the video on it, right? Well, and, and even in some of them, there was one kid, there was um, one guy who made this vi these videos, um, and uh, he had autism, right? And in the video that Leafy watched, you could not really tell that much. Like, and again, from personal experience, I know people with autism. I know many people have had best friends whose younger siblings had autism. I've been around a lot of autistic kids my whole life. Uh, one of my best friends is autistic. So I understand how it is and how they act, and I've been around various levels. And in his other videos, you can see it. But in that one video that Leafy watched, you could barely see it. And with Leafy, who probably doesn't have that much experience with autistic kids, he probably didn't even know. Which actually, I can almost guarantee he didn't know. And he even went around and he apologized for it. And then shit cleared. Well, the thing is, um, thing like people, what's annoying is the whole thing was that autistic kid and all these other disabled kids who, who he's done things on without knowing that they had these things, um, he, his viewers went out and personally harassed him. I mean, harassed them. And I get so angry when people say, like, yo, Leafy is fucking, he's, he's the fucking cyberbully. He goes out and he harasses people. He doesn't. Again, Leafy, he's not fucking Hitler. He, he can't make people fucking, he has four million subscribers. He can't make four million fucking people go out and harass a single person. He doesn't have that power. He's not fucking Hitler. And at the same time, he can't stop them from doing it. He, and now he even puts disclaimers in his videos. In his intro, there's even a disclaimer where it shows Leafy and has music. And under it, shows writing saying, do not go out and personally with, go, don't, it says, do not go out of your way to witch hunt anyone I've made videos about. It's for comedy. And yes, it is. It's for comedy. And he even says in his videos. And I just hate how people go out and they're like, oh, this Leafy guy, he's a cyber bully. He's, he's cyberbullying these people when he's really not he's making a video for fun a lot of the time he's even talked to the people and said sorry if it affected them he's um been on uh drama alert and he's talked to people like um when he had the whole problem with this darkness 66 he talked it out and he said and he talked to him how he uh, how he how he didn't mean to uh, to hurt him it was out of just comedy, and, but he wasn't going to take it when when the dude was saying that it was his fault that the dude's girlfriend break up, woke up with him. And 
that's the thing. Leafy has tried to work it out with people when he's hurt people's feelings. And it's just stupid that people say that he's cyberbullying people when, again, these people, these fans of his, he can't stop them from going out and saying, oh, kill yourself to people. He can't stop them from doing that. And he's not the one telling them to do that. They're doing that on their own accord. And so you can't yell at him for fucking, for his fans doing that. Because, again, he's not Hitler. He can't control tons of, four, he can't control four million people on the edge of his thumb. And on the tip of his finger. He can't fucking control him like that. He can't tell him what to do and tell him what not to do. He's not like that. He's not able to do that. So you can't say you can't say it's his fault. He's making content. And it's the con and if you think of it, if you say stop making stop making the content you're making, right? Stop making your content. Well, yes he's already famous, but let's say he switches up his content to something totally out of the black. A fucking Minecraft let's play. Let's just say something totally different. Well, if you think of it, if he does that He's going to lose all, all the fans who like his roasting videos. And then, again, this is his job. And yes, you could say, oh, he's making you, he's doing YouTube for money. He's also doing it for fun. Every YouTuber, except for the stupid ones, are doing it half for money because they have literally no other job, no backup, and usually no backup plan, and half for, hey, this is something I do for fun. Because, so if he changes, all of a sudden just changes his content, and of course, he finds roasting fun. A lot of people do nowadays. But again, if he just changes the content to something, he would lose all his fucking fans, and he'd literally have no money if he started if he started to lose too many fans. So he has to make the... He has to keep making this content, or he's going to have to come up with some sort of backup, backup plan. So you can't just be like, oh, we'll start making roasting videos. Number one, that's the thing he loves to do. And number two, that's what makes him his money. It's like... You, you have to, everything you do has to at least be for some sort of monetary gain when it comes to a job. YouTube, it's his job. What do you expect him to not do his job for, for money at least a little bit? Like, if you work at McDonald's, do you work there just for fun? Maybe, if you're weird, but you work there for money. So, same with YouTube. You do it for fun, but you also do it for money because it's your job. If he changes his videos and starts doing something... Totally different. Of course, people are not going to want to watch that already liked his videos, his roasting videos. You won't have as much fun because he loves doing roasting. And he won't be making enough money to support himself. So it's stupid. Sorry, this is dragged out. I just I just hate all the stupid people going, Oh, he's the cancer of YouTube. He's a cyber bully. Because he's really not. He's just a dude roasting. There are actually people... Who professionally roast for a living on TV. Look at the show Roast Me. The dude roasts famous celebrities. For money. As a job. How is he different from Leafy? It's just that Leafy happens to do it on YouTube videos. And he doesn't know anything about the person prior to the videos. He may know something about them as he goes on throughout the videos. If he does multiple videos on them. But th at the very beginning he knows nothing about them. So if they have a disability or a disorder. He doesn't know that. His freaking viewers sent it to him without him knowing. Oh, I'm just a bit pissed off with all the bullshit that people have just been sending at him. He's a YouTuber that I personally love to watch, and I just hate to have it to where people are fucking doing this shit. Sorry for dragging this out. It's already hit nine minutes, so I'm going to go. Uh, peace out. Blood Saber X out. Bye.